Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial using the new Boy De Chanel foundation. So Chanel recently launched a range specifically for men called Boy De Chanel. It's a super small range consisting of just three products. There's the foundation, which I'll be using today. And in addition, they've got some eyebrow products and a lip balm. I decided to pass on the lip balm because I've already got plenty already and I tried it in store and it didn't seem to offer anything particularly amazing that warranted getting it. And in addition, they've got the eyebrow pencils, which aren't really my thing. I use the Glossier Boy Brow, which actually just coats the hairs and grooms them into place. And I prefer that rather than actually penciling onto the skin of my face. So I've been testing this out for the last week or so and I have to say I really like the finish on this. If you've seen any of my other makeup tutorials before, I did one on Glossier, which I'll link up above. I really do prefer a natural finish, a no makeup makeup look when it comes to using foundation or concealer. I was a little bit surprised that there wasn't a concealer in the range because I feel like that's the one thing that is really kind of useful in men's makeup tutorials is a concealer because sometimes you can just get away with that and not necessarily need to go in with a foundation as well. As with all Chanel products, whether it's men's or women's, the shade range is pretty small. My shade N20 is the lightest one and I definitely think that it could go a little bit paler and then I think that it could definitely go deeper at the other end as well. I know that they have the counters in store so they only have so much space on those counters to fill with different products so I understand that they probably going to go with products that they think will sell better but I always think that it's really important for all different brands to be as inclusive as possible. The range does definitely go down deeper but I feel like there could be a wider shade range and it could definitely go a little bit paler as well. So they say this is a matte finish. I actually feel like it's reasonably dewy on the skin, which I really like. I personally don't like a matte finish, but I think that that depends on the products that you prep your skin with before. I prep my skin with plenty of hydrating, moisturizing serums, so that will add to the dewy finish in this, but I imagine if you were to use more oil control, matte finish products, then you will get a slightly less glossy finish from this, which is good if you have oily skin. The formula is waterproof, so it's really good if you are sweaty in the summer, which I know I get when I'm running around the city from day to day. So I feel like this is a really good addition to the finish of it, and it helps it last longer on the skin. Okay, so I think it's time to start applying the product. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can get a better view of how it goes on my skin. I'm going to apply this with a beauty blender, but you can definitely do it with your fingertips. That's what I've been doing as well but I just feel like the Beauty Blender, when it's damp, gives a super natural finish. And because I apply my skincare and then my SPF on top of that, which will sit underneath this, I don't want to disturb that by wiping too much in case it does wipe some of the SPF away and then I won't get the coverage that I'm looking for. But in addition, this does have SPF 25, but I think that when you're looking at SPF in a makeup type product, you shouldn't really count on it for giving you enough SPF. You really do have to apply a generous amount to get the rating that's on the front of the bottle. So you're never gonna apply enough foundation or any type of makeup product to get the full SPF rating that's on the front. So I would apply your SPF first and just use any SPF that's in this as a bonus. Okay, so I zoomed you right in and I put the exposure down on the camera so you can get a really good look at my skin, see what it's like before, see the dark circles under my eyes and then see exactly what it's gonna be able to do. One pump is plenty on top of the Beauty Blender but you could probably get away with half. So I just work on the center of my face and then work outwards a little bit between my eyebrows and the great thing about applying this with a beauty blender is that you can, because it's got the point on it, you can get it right up underneath the eyes where I have dark circles. And it just stops you getting any streaks or anything like that. So it's mostly around the center of my face where I get the redness and the dark circles. 
So this is where I focus on applying the product. I really like the finish of this. I feel like it's a light coverage, but it's definitely buildable. So if you wanted like a heavier coverage, you could definitely go in a bit more heavy handed. But applying it obviously with the damp beauty blender will give you more of a natural finish. And then whatever's left, I just kind of bounce the sponge all over my face just to get an even color application, but there's definitely less everywhere else. And you can just put a little bit around your jaw. But to be honest, I feel like the color is such a good color match for my face. I'm not really worried about my face being a different color from my neck, but that's why it's always important to get a really good color match because you want everything to look super kind of blended and natural looking. And also if you've got facial hair, then you also want to get the color right, but you also don't want to apply the product too heavily because if you go for a really full coverage foundation look, then it's going to be very hard to blend it into a beard or any facial hair. Whereas if you go for a more natural kind of finish, natural result where it just looks like your skin, but better, it's much easier to blend in with your facial hair. So I'm just going in with a little bit more underneath my eyes. I'm applying it slightly heavier than I usually would, only because I want to show you guys what this is capable of. So I would say this does double up as a concealer. Um, if you use it with a brush, just working on specific areas where you have darkness underneath the eyes, which is what I have. But to be honest, normally I probably wouldn't apply it this heavily. Okay, so I've zoomed back out now. And as you can see, I feel like this gives a really nice natural finish on the skin. It lasts really well throughout the day because it does have that waterproof finish on it. So it's gonna work really well. If you get sweaty or oily throughout the day, it should hold in place really well. I definitely find that it does with my skin. If you find for whatever reason that it is slightly too matte on your face, then it's always a good idea to get a hydrating spritz and just spritz it over your face and that just really helps the product mesh with your skin and then you'll get a much more kind of natural blended finish where it looks like it's part of your skin and not sitting on top of it. So it comes as no surprise that this is pricey. It's 52 pounds in the UK. Chanel is obviously a luxury brand. So you're always gonna get a luxury price tag attached to that. A lot of people love Chanel as a brand. Obviously there aren't many men's products within Chanel, but I just still think it's a really luxurious, beautiful brand. And I was excited to try something. I'm really happy with the results. I think that it's definitely possible to find something that will perform just as well at a cheaper price tag, of course. With everything that comes with Chanel, you get the beautiful packaging and the stores and everything like that that come part and parcel with everything being so expensive. So you don't necessarily have to pay this much to find a really good foundation for your skin. And you also don't necessarily have to find something specifically for men. It's more about getting the finish that you want and the color that's right for your skin tone. I must say though, I love the packaging. It does have some fragrance in the product, but it's nice, it's subtle, it's not too overpowering. And I really, really like the finish on the skin. I imagine this will last a really long time because you do only need a small amount. So I expect this to last, you know, for probably around a year. So all in all, if you look at the cost per use, it isn't too expensive, but it is definitely up there in price point. So perhaps you could ask for a gift for your birthday or Christmas or something like that. I hope that you found this review useful if you've tried the foundation let me know in the comments below i would love to know what you think of it and if you've got any questions then you can just let me know in the comments below don't forget to follow me on instagram james just now give this video a thumbs up and i will catch you in the next one bye